Let's do a little miniatures thrift haul coming up after this. All right, I have a lot of thrifty miniatures that I picked up. I guess most of them are little ceramic things, but there's other things in here too. Here's a little sneak peek at some of the things that I picked up. Uh, did I show you? I might have shown you some in the other videos. I did put them in this bowl, which I also thrifted at one point, to wash. Uh, but, but these are the mini things, and then if I have time, I have some other things that I also thrifted that aren't necessarily miniatures. But there's some good stuff here. Um, before I start with that, though, well, I don't know, I don't know. It's hard. I'm gonna try to figure out a setup where I can have a, a little uh, house and I can set up scenes and stuff for videos. I would like to do that. I'd also like to make more furniture. And here's an example of a piece of furniture that I made that I want to make another one. So I made this sample one already for myself and I want to repeat that. Something that I noticed is that adding feet to anything makes it look that much better and just those little cubes that you can get from the dollar store i want to do it with this i was like trying to save these so i could use them for multiple purposes but i mean they're from the dollar tree and come on i can i can glue feet on the bottom of these at least i can glue the feet on the bottom of just like separately on one piece and then I can stack ones as I go and keep some crates normal but this is my style of furniture it's not everybody's sometimes people suggest that I paint stuff but this is my aesthetic and it's how I want my home to look kind of like a castle kind of like a rundown castle even just rudimentary and I like the natural wood and I like the I like things to be white or cream and clean and yeah, I don't care if it's run. I don't care if it's run down. It just has to be clean. So this stuff is all in in that uh, in that vein. This I thought it needs a little bit of repair. I don't know. I think I paid too much for this. I don't remember. I thought it was antique, and then when I got it home, I noticed that it did have a made in China sticker on the bottom, but and it's missing a tail. But I'm gonna get a little nail and or a couple little nails and fix this up. Maybe just some glue. It looks antique enough. It looks my Victorian style that I like so much and it's cute. Look at this. Look at this little setup that I just did quickly to do the thing. Do you think half of this house? I'm going to be rambling all this video, but I guess you guys are used to it now. If you're watching this video, maybe you'll like it. This is, is this enough of a house to show? Do I have to set up some other thing? Maybe I should do it off camera. That's what normal people do. I try to be personable though. I mean, I guess I'm not the most personable person. Anyway, let's get on with the haul. I'm going to make more furniture. Those are going to be videos. I'm going to do more diorama setup videos. Just have to figure out the best way to do that. Let me know if you can think of a better way. A half room really isn't enough room for me to set up a whole situation. Like I have room for a bed, not even room for a bed here in this tiny little corner that I set up. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to, I don't think I can make the walls look good by showing you all the pottery. So I guess we'll just have this little setup and uh, we'll go from there. I found this little tea set. Now the teapot is gonna st scale pretty well, I think, but the teacups, because you can have a big giant teacup, a teapot, I mean, teapots come in all different sizes, but teacups, they, this one isn't gonna work when you take these little things, but this is going to be an awesome little bowl. It doesn't have a, it doesn't have a handle on it or anything, so my tea set is actually a teapot and then I have little bowls and so nice to find these ceramics. Most of the stuff I found at Value Village, I would say most of it. Yeah, but I go to a lot of other thrift stores too, but Value Village tends or savers in some in some states, they call it. They tend to have bags full of things and I always take a look at the tiny little things in bags and 
so funny on two different occasions at two separate ones i found all of this asian pottery and i usually don't like blue but when it's done right i mean come on so a lot of little blue tall asian inspired vases there's that other one here and they're all different shapes too and it's so funny because I went to another, I biked to another city and it was way out of the way and I found like some of the ones that match better with the ones in the other bag. So I don't know, I guess it was from some kind of popular time period, but there are lots of them. Yeah, sometimes I like to put legs in the bottom of these ones, put a little basin on top of this and make it a sink which I want to show you and create too. Now, that's a, a good example. I found this long one. I think this was sold separately at a different thrift store, but check that out. It does look like a basin sink, and then you have to rig up some contraption that looks like a faucet, and I usually use a little, I don't know, I'll, I'll show you in another video one day. But that also is a great piece. But I believe I do have more of this blue china. Yeah, there's this piece. Again, all different shapes. Slightly different. And then this one, which I like that shape too. I do have a huge pottery collection. I think I did a video on my... Asian pottery. This is uncomfortable for my shoulders, too. I do have to figure something out, and I don't know if I'm too close to the microphone. These little wooden vessels, which, again, vary my style. And I have three of those. Here's a little green one that I found on it. Did it say something? Did somebody make it? I don't know, but that is beautiful. I don't know. I have a... I have a thing for antique pottery. And then a little religious statue. Love that. I think it's plastic. I guess it could be bone, depending on how old it is. But it's uh, it's pretty nice. The colors, it fits nice into my thing. Wade porcelain tea miniatures. I've done videos and talked about these before. I have a big collection of them. I do have to incorporate them in my rooms a little more because I love them so much and I did spend some money on them. I even ordered some on eBay that were only available from the States, but it was such a cool circus set. I don't know if I ever showed that in a video. I did put a couple pictures on Instagram of those, but cute little hickory dickory dock. I have the whole nursery rhyme collection. Oh, was that in here? I just got sent the gingerbread man. I must have put it and put that away. Oh yeah, this is an extra clock that I found, so it's not with the uh, other set. And then you have to look at them carefully. I'm only buying ones that aren't chipped or anything. And here is a little bear. And I have a few of those little bears, but you can't have too many little baby bears is what I say. So I buy them. And if they're cheap, I mean, you can get them for $3, $1. That's pretty much the max I'm going to pay. I'd probably pay $5 for one if it was really a cool one that I don't have. Monopoly pieces. I uh, Every time I find a game, uh, well, it's not every time because I do have a lot of these now, but they make awesome little, little, little toy vintage car. And then we've got, I mean, these are great little army soldiers and they're all metal. And this is a special edition one. So if I find a Monopoly game for $3 and then all the, these pieces are inside, I'll buy it and maybe I'll re-donate the game, Battleship great antique toys these make so i mean i probably have done that enough now it's surprising you can find a monopoly game and i i do want to save the cards sometimes but sometimes the cards and the money are all dirty and in bad shape so i just bring the metal figures home wash them up and put them in my diorama 
Here is the two little cute things. So this little glass basin. Now this could be good for Thanksgiving on the table, a little turkey thing. It is the right size for a big turkey dinner bowl for the middle of the table. And it's definitely antique -y. glass, nice and blue. It's so funny because I don't usually like blue things, but I mean, this stuff all works together. I can do a blue antique room. And I have more of these little teacups, by the way. So more of these little bowls. This video is taking longer than I thought it would. I have it in pink. So this rose color. I don't think I washed these yet. That's good. I have to wash this stuff. Maybe I did actually. And it's just dusty from me. I keep adding to here to show you. So another little pink one. Cute. Uh, oh, another little big basin. Look at this bowl. So this has to, this would translate to a huge bowl, but I have huge bowls that are this size. And again, maybe it could be an antique sink, a special sink or just a, a giant fruit bowl. I have some glass fruit too. Let's see what else I got here. Oh, a little glass bowl. So I thought again that this could be a, a basin for a sink or it can be a nice little fruit bowl. I still got some gum on it from the price tag. I have to wash this stuff. And these pots couple gardening things here. So I mean, I'm going to open these right now. Usually at the dollar stores, you can't find the tiniest little terracotta pots. And I was happy to find these because the ones at the dollar store can work. They're still, they're just a little too big. I can't open this right now. Five, six, two, five. But these ones are, how much did I pay? $1.95, that's great. Tiny little pots that are big pots in doll land or one six scale land but uh, these are smaller than the ones that you normally find and that is what i'm looking for and i was happy to find those because i dropped a couple and broke them and no longer have them and then these things i guess they do fit the style they have these parisian legs they had dollar tree you know those dollar tree um furniture for a patio furniture and stuff and i didn't get them because there were little curls on the legs and i just thought it looked cheap but i think the scale on this is a little smaller so it looks a little better and i got two of these and these were just in a bag with something else it didn't these were like a bonus and i was like i'm gonna donate those anyway but when i when i got them home i mean they can be bird cages i think they can be like it's a taupe taupe wary taupe wary put them on the edge of a garden entrance or something where's the other cage right here I could put birds in them, could put little animals in them, but just put them at the entrance of something, put some greenage inside of them, just have them as is. They look ornamental. It does kind of fit this. I don't like to get too reproduction or too French with uh, my stuff, but uh, it, it kind of fits and they were a bonus. Look how good they look, just like sitting there right now. Let me move this out of the way. And I do have other stuff to show you. Maybe I'll show you quickly at the end of the video. That's not reproduction, but here's an example, a little shopping cart. Now this isn't uh, really one six scale unless it's for a child, but this is slate size. So I guess, yeah, this makes a good child shopping cart. Or if you're going for 10 inch dollies, then it works. All right, that is my little miniature finds and some ideas that I'm just bouncing off you. Any suggestions are great. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned to the end. I'll show you some other thrifty things that aren't like ornamental like this at the end of this video. We'll see you next time. So these are some things that I washed or wiped down, at least. Uh, I guess this fence could have fit in 
with the more antique stuff. But I guess this is something that you can get at a craft store. However, it was only $1.50 from the thrift store. Goodwill, is that where I got it? Yeah. Little fencing. I don't know if I'm going to do an outdoor diorama display. You could also do some kind of cute little children's room feature inside with the fence. So that's cute little fence. And then I might have shown this before, but put these little puzzle pieces on the floor with a kid and that will look adorable. This one's Christmas themed. It seems like it's two puzzles in here. Oh yeah, two puzzles in there. So that's that would look cute under a Christmas tree, even just the pieces on the floor any time of year. Some vintage, I don't know how old these are, maybe they're from the 90s, 1999. So vintage hangers that I found in a package. That was not that was the Walmart price that was on them years ago. But this was in a little bag of other miniature things. Cute to have. It looks so nice I don't want to open it. I believe I showed that before. I think I showed these before too. Old vintage collected flashcards that I got. I have a lot of thrift stuff to show you. A lot of figures and dolls that I got that are in a box over there. So there's lots more thrift. Even if I stop buying thrift stuff, I've got many more thrift dolls to show you. This Heidi I took out. She was, what is she from Regal? Um, Remco. Remco. And I, I actually did wash her. So I took her out, washed all of her little clothes. She had so many little pieces of vintage little clothes inside. And she has a little button. I don't think I showed her on the back. Oh yeah, her arm moves. Wait, oh, it's a belly button. She says hi, I think it's the thing. Cute, so I did take her out, scrub her up, took her all apart, washed her pieces, washed up all of her little undies for her. And I guess it's cute, washed her little case, little pink under undies, little yellow undies. Some of them are in better shape than others. Little blue, because she just has tiny little short little outfits, so she has to wear her underwear with it, or uh-oh. And another little red outfit. So she was cute, and she was, like, inexpensive, but she was dirty. But I took her home, washed her, washed her case, and uh, I don't know how much I like her. I do like her little Betty Page face, though. She looks so vintage, old, and cute. More thrift stuff coming, don't worry.